Hello everyone and welcome to the most requested species exhibit build for Jurassic World Evolution 2, a raptor enclosure, or in this case a raptor arena slash stadium with a backstage area and attached enclosure. Because that's how we do things over here, we're a little bit extra. If you like this enclosure and it inspires you for your own park build, give the video a like and of course subscribe for more let's see if we can get to 90,000 subscribers by the end of february by the way you can request a species that you want me to build an enclosure for in a comment down below i read all of the comments i heart most of them i reply to some of them and i'll listen to at least one of them so throw some species at me as we watch me work on the arena itself, I want to talk you through the process for these exhibit builds. Hopefully, that's going to help you tackle your next project. I want all these builds to be a little more special than just a rectangular fenced-in patch of map, which is, I think, what we all end up doing most of the time when we're building a park. For these builds, I always start with a little brainstorm session to work out the basic idea. The idea in this case being a stadium where the raptors put on a bit of a show, kind of like, like an educational show. Uh, they have their backstage area where the trainers prep them and then behind that is their regular exhibit where they spend most of their time and where they can also be observed from regular viewing galleries. I always write down what kind of elements and details I want to add and usually one thing leads to another. As I do that, an image starts to form of what it is going to look like more or less at least and then i also draw a little blueprint for the enclosure nothing too complicated just to get a clear idea of the layout before i start building obviously when you do start building you have to be flexible because odds are things are not going to work out as planned and that's sort of what happened during this build as well but starting with at least a plan really helps building something impressive as opposed to just starting somewhere and figuring it out along the way it ends up really showing that you didn't think about it beforehand. I've drawn blueprints for all the builds I've done in this series so far, and I'm personally really happy with the exhibits that I've built. So I figured I'd share this tip with you just so you know that I don't build these off the cuff. These are sort of like the handles that you can apply to your own park builds. You know, if you want to go above and beyond, be a little extra like me and uh, and make exhibits like this. Of course, plan B could just be to copy my designs. That is, of course, in part why I'm showing you this entire process and, uh, and showing you how I built this and why I'm including like overview shots at the end of this video so you can replicate this exact exhibit if you want to. Now speaking of building let me actually talk about what we're looking at here and what I'm doing. So while I was rambling I already built the arena itself and the enclosure within the arena using the the monorail tracks as I like doing and around it I have this sort of stadium seating in the sense that you know uh, there's three tiers of path and each tier is a little higher than the one before that so you know guests can stand on each tier and still have a really good view of what is going on inside the arena itself um, I really wish that they would add benches that would really help sell this idea but of course I'm gonna place planters and tables and parasols later now this is uh, a staff section that is behind the backstage area and behind the, the enclosure itself so it sort of just runs behind it um, and I figured that you know the raptors are kind of the star of the show the star of the park so they need to be well taken care of uh, they're dangerous animals to work with they might uh, have some some dominance fight between them so I added a, a bit of a medical center um, as part of the as part of the guest section because it's all about care taking care of the stars of the show now the viewing gallery right there, that is for the VIP section and my other idea was to add a viewing tower also for the VIPs to have a unique view into the arena. And that's the one thing that I mentioned earlier on, the thing that didn't work out according to plan. Um, in the first Jurassic World Evolution game, uh, you could place the viewing tower, the viewing platform under the monorails, and that was kind of cool. Apparently, it doesn't work that way in Jurassic World Evolution 2, so I had to uh, I had to scratch that idea. That is a bit of a shame, but it's not a deal breaker. It's fine. So the VIP section at the moment consists just of that viewing gallery overlooking the backstage area, where you know the Raptors would get uh, called in uh, from their from their regular exhibits by the trainers, and they would 
get ready for for the show, so to speak, you know, get get their hair done, stuff like that. And as you saw earlier on, the backstage area has four holding pens, one for each of the raptors, so they can come out one by one, you know, and, and uh, a trainer could, you know, during the show be like, and here is Blue, and the crowd goes wild. Oh, Blue, oh, we love you so much. You know, that sort of stuff. <laughs> uh, on to uh, work for the, for the back exhibit. I wanted the back exhibit to just be natural and beautiful, uh, not just for, for the, for the raptors raptors don't really care it's sandbox they don't care about anything by the way but also because as a as a zoo your viewers or your guests sorry also enjoy the view and uh, and they want that uh luxurious look to to the exhibit so that's i'm so fo focused on people and not the dinosaurs at all that's so bad of me it is a beautiful enclosure though and though both raptors and people can enjoy it so it's just really natural it has a river in the front a little bit of a mountain section in the middle to hide that medical facility and the backstage area from the guest viewing galleries um and it has the beautiful backdrop of the mountains uh far away and the arena itself on the left um and what I decided to do, since I remembered that we are dealing with Velociraptors here, super dangerous, is I decided to double fence it. Uh, the concrete fencing in this game, unfortunately, does not come with uh, an electrified variation of it. That's unfortunate. So what I did is, within the exhibit itself, within the concrete enclosure, the concrete perimeter, I also added an electrified fence, just for effect, because, again, we are in sandbox, so they won't actually escape. Now, this is the guest section that accompanies the viewing galleries. Um, the path that you see connecting this guest section to the arena, that's sort of supposed to be just a one-way street. So that's the exit of the stadium where people would uh, pour out of the stadium after a show ends. And the only entry would be this path right here. This would be how they enter. This would be uh, at, this, at this point before they go through the gate, quote unquote, the the walled in section, they would buy tickets to the show or, or whatever. Uh, so that's the entry point and the other pathway is the exit. And how I sort of, you know, indicated that just purely in my head canon was by using the different colors of flags. Uh, so for this park or this exhibit, at least my idea was that uh, red flags mean there's no entry here. Green means Yes, please come in. It's fine. <laughs> Vampires welcome here. I, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I think I used uh, the yellow ones as in gold for the guest, uh, for the VIP section that I just connected right there. Uh, and some super simple path work for the staff section in the back. Now, speaking of path work, I added a raptor sickle claw to the arena itself just to have some sort of design element in the arena. I also thought that maybe, you know, you could put like uh, little bits of uh, fencing within the arena. And then part of the show could be that they jump over the fence or climb the fence. But then you also sort of have to justify in your head why the raptors don't just climb over the perimeter fence. So I, I sort of skipped that idea. And here I'm just doing my favorite thing ever, placing a lot of planters. Uh, you could go above and beyond and separate all of the three tiers with planters. I decided not to do that because, you know, they also take up a little bit of space. So I left it open instead. Um, so just a little bit of decorative work, some uh, tables and chairs on this guest section to finish it off, make it look uh, nice and welcoming and uh, commercial, yay capitalism. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, we're getting pretty close to the end result here. I got rid of some of the pillars with some rocks. Unfortunately, the pathwork of the stadium, I wasn't as careful as I should have been. If you are doing this yourself, I recommend that you really keep track of leaving enough space for the monorail pillars to remain standing. Um, that It just looks a lot better than than, uh, than what I ended up with. I didn't pay too much attention and then I didn't feel like going back, but you can definitely see in my end result that, uh, you know, some, some key pillars are missing 
in the in the stadium roof, so to speak. Now, this is just an overview for if you want to recreate this exhibit for yourself. As I said, if you don't want to come up with your own ideas and you just want to you just want to reuse this one, that's exactly what this video is for. So, you know, have at it, uh, but also you can just take little elements of this and use that to uh, to incorporate it into your own builds. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that it does inspire you for your own builds. Again, let me know in a comment down below if there's a species in particular that you really want to see me do a build for. Here I'm flying in the raptor squad. I don't quite, I can't quite tell which one this is. Maybe Charlie? I don't know. I, I can't keep them apart. I'm so, so, I'm so sorry. Uh, but I had a lot of fun building this. Um, and yeah, if you are uh, wanting to venture into doing your own more complicated designs, then I can totally recommend uh, the blueprint trick, I suppose, that, that I use for these more intricate and elaborate builds. Just so you have a plan before you go in and you think about stuff like, you know, VIP sections, which I really love doing, and, um, and multiple parts to an exhibit as opposed to just one exhibit you know you can you can go multiple uh, multiple ways with that so yeah i really hope that you enjoyed it if you did give the video a like and if you want to see, see more of course subscribe for more all right thank you so much for watching liking subscribing and until next time enjoy the game mm -hmm.